we're just cruising along here on a nice easy trail. Maybe I'll uh, yeah, talk to you about some things I like and I don't like about this thing. It's got, how many kilometers have gone on it now? We got 500 and, 528, 22 kilometers on it right now. So, we'll start with the, uh, let's we'll start with the uh, good. Uh, the power is amazing. Um, oh, this looks a little, a little frosty. Oh, co, co skipped it today. Me and Daryl are going there. Oh, no problems. Daryl's pretty tight to that tree. Oh yeah, like this thing just climbs through everything. The power of the four-wheel drive system on this thing is awesome. I, it's amazing. Like it's fucking just. Like, I didn't even floor it there, and she just fucking wants to go. Um, what else do I like about it? I like that snorkel right from factory, that's amazing. That's like half the battle there, the diffs are all vented, which is nice. Uh, it's got cryptics on it. it, says it's 30 inches, you measure with tape measures, they're 28 and a half, but this thing sits high enough up as it is. Which leads me to another thing is the arch day arms. Uh, it's nice because when I do ride in Minden, uh, it has a lot of ground clearance. Uh, seats, seats in these things are amazing. They're nice and comfy. I haven't gotten a bad back or nothing. I had to buy seatbelt covers for it because it was chafing my my shoulder. But that's that's like a nothing. That's like ten dollars at Walmart. Um, what else? Lots of storage. Uh, love the fucking love the uh, the mud mode with the four, the actual diff lock. You know, can am. I always had the visco lock, which is running right now because I'm in four wheel. Uh, but the diff lock, when you lock it in there, this thing fucking crawls over anything, man. It's 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 really good. I I, I really wish they would have put it on all their machines, like. They should just get rid of Visco Lock, in my opinion, altogether, because you know it doesn't really work that well. It's another thing I like about this thing is the suspension on it. It's on the softest setting right now, and like you can't feel nothing, not a thing. All right, put the glove back on. That's one thing else I like about this. As much as I hate the power of steering, just the way you have to turn so much to get it to turn a corner. It's, it's so good that, like, I can drive with one hand down these trails, or one, like, I can drive with two fingers, like, down these trails, and nothing. It's like driving a, what I, I, I feel it's like driving a forklift. I drive a forklift at work, and, like, you gotta put a lot of input in that steering wheel to get that forklift to turn tight, right? Same with this thing, you have to get a lot, put a lot of turning into it to get it to turn. Let's go! I love the thing with the way this thing roars. This roars. All right, some of the some of the bad things I'll tell you about it. So, one thing I don't really like is the steering. Like, look, like look how much I have to steer, turn the wheel to fucking get input in there. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's the power steering. It doesn't. It doesn't have the the DPS where I can select. Maybe it does, and I've just never found it. But I don't think it does. Um, so the steering I really don't like. I notice my wife when she drives, she, she, I think she feels like it's a car. And and like you really have to turn it to get to go around these corners. At high speeds it does stiffen up, but not that much. Um, what else am I like? The freaking seat adjuster over on the driver's seat. Now this is a huge flaw with this thing, man. Like, it's got slider rails like most seats would. Um, but I think from factory, they don't, like they're two separate sliders and if you don't align them, uh, the seat doesn't like to slide back and forth. And like I had it mended in a couple times this year and like going through mud, it get the mud builds up in there and it won't slide at all. Like it was impossible for me to slide the seat back and forward. Um, I took it out, cleaned it, and then I noticed if the 
the rails aren't aligned to the seat bracket right, it won't move. And when I bought this thing, I asked the the, uh, the salesperson about that because it was really rough fucking getting to go back and forward. And once I fu screwed around with it a little bit and, and aligned it, 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 it kind of worked a little better, but I haven't really, like this is the first ride since I've did, done that. And we're not going to get too muddy today. Uh, currently, well, it does have some mud, but it's not, it's most trails like this, so. Uh, another bad thing I don't like. Um, the uh, front springs. Uh, the powder coating is just, it's crap. All the powder coating at the top of the spring is actually freaking starting to flake off from the, the spring uh, flexing and stuff from rock crawling this thing. Oh yeah, four wheels spinning. Oh, I just got fucking so gassy shit. The, oh, the freaking clutch cover. Um, where the exhaust runs down by the clutch cover is starting to bubble a bit. I think it's getting too hot down there, so I'm gonna see if I can get it warrantied. Um, and maybe make like a heat shield out of some freaking sheet metal or something just to go around the clutch cover there. Just just so it keeps, try to keep some heat off it. But we'll f figure that out when we uh, get back uh, to the hammer. But yeah, those are, those are about it I can think of right now. There's not too many things I don't like about this thing. Hey, what's up, Duke Boy Nation? Never really made a outro for this video, but uh, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I was talking about. Um, we'll see if we can see with the powder coating on the machine here, on the top of the springs, what I'm talking about. Um, you see it right there, the, the powder coating starting to flake off. Um, See down here, powder coating starting to flake off, flake off there. Um, and with the uh, the clutch cover, see if I can get a good shot of the clutch cover here for you. So, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's starting to bubble up right here, which is. Kind of a pain in the ass, if you ask me. The back springs are also starting to chip apart. You can actually tell the powder coating wasn't done properly. But overall, like after 500 kilometers, I'm uh, I'm fairly new to the side by side game. This thing's been absolutely amazing. Knock on wood. Uh, I got a buddy with a Can-Am. Every time he rides it, he's got to spend a thousand dollars on it. It's a pretty running joke in our uh, group of friends. But other than that, this thing's been been very bulletproof for what I've put it through. It's uh, it's made it all the way. So yeah, if you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment about what you like and you don't like, and uh, I'll catch you around.